that which yet yeah, if you'll come and read us a scripture, you have a scripture for us today. I Within my spirit today, worthy. God is worthy. Worthy. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Lord.
hallelujah. Some of y'all will do that, hallelujah. Most of you wouldn't do it, hallelujah. No, I'm not track record. You wouldn't do it, hallelujah. But God do the beginning from the end, hallelujah. Keep that one down for anyway. Hallelujah. Why? Because I love her. Hallelujah. I love him. Hallelujah. And he died anyway. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Feel the rain. 
lives and the people that are actually dealing with a lot of different things that are going on in their lives. But the Lord knows everything that's happening and everything that's going on. Pray with us right now, Lord. We thank you for all of these one that we've named up and called. We just honor your name, Jesus. We just bless you, Lord. We come before you, Lord, because you are the healer. Oh, Lord, you are the one that can touch and change the situation. We come to you because, Lord, all of our help comes from you. And, Lord, we're coming to you because we need you, Lord, today. All of the ones that have been calling their name in our prayer, they need you, Lord. Yes, yes you bless them. Yes. And help them, we pray. Yep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, in your Bible, Philippians chapter number 3. In your Bible, Philippians chapter number 3. Danger to other folks also. 
That's the reason I told us, and I'm going to get to my lesson today, but I told us that we have to be careful where we put our hope. And, and if, 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 if I put my hope in the place that I need, well, guess, guess what? That, that place that you're in, it can change and will change. Yeah. And even if that place don't change, you're going to change. That's right. And our Lord have mercy. Somebody put their hope in staying in the White House for another four years. Jesus. It didn't work out that way. It's not going to work out that way. I'm telling you, whenever stuff happens like that, people lose hope and they become an incredible danger to themselves. But I'm glad to say that they did not yes. is built on nothing. Else. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Some of know Hallelujah. To Jesus Christ and his right. Yes, yes, yes. They are not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lead. But holy lead yes, on yes. Jesus' name. Yes. On Christ, the, the solid rock, I Hallelujah. Oh, look around. Jesus. Uh, uh, Hallelujah. I'm, hoping, I'm telling you, that's where you need to keep your hope in yes. Jesus. Uh, regardless of what's going on, uh, put your hope, keep your hope in the Lord. Talking today from a new subject that says pressing toward the mark. Yes, Lord. What many of us have discovered in life is that um, if we truly want something, if we truly want something, then we realize something that is going to at least cause us a measure of sacrifice. Yes. And, uh, let me say that again just to make sure I'm, I'm clear on what you're, you're clear on what I'm saying. Whenever we really want something, uh, we realize that we may have to give up something in order to get it. Uh, but if we really want it bad enough, uh, then there ain't no mountain high. That's right. Uh, Lord, That's have mercy right. That's right. Uh, but whenever, so we have to be willing to make the sacrifice. Yes, yes. Uh, little sacrifice means sometimes we get little things achieved. Uh, big sacrifice, but well, we get some big things can be achieved because right. we made a big sacrifice. But when we are willing to make a great sacrifice, then great things can be achieved, but the Lord was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm telling you that there was no limit on what God could do because he was willing to make the, the um, ultimate sacrifice for me and you. But that's the reason I'm telling you that we got to keep pressing. You got to keep pressing. Even if we decide that whatever we are going after we're going to try to get it honorably. This is going to require us to make sacrifice. Yes, yes. Uh, even if we decide to go out with something legally or illegal, it's going to require <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Listen, my brothers and sisters, if we have a desire for God, hmm. then if we have a desire for what he has promised us, right. What did he promise us? If we have a desire to receive the promise of God, uh, Lord, then we have, must be also willing uh, to make the necessary sacrifice. Whatever it requires of whatever he requires yes. of us, yes. Yes. if we want what he has, Jesus. then we have to be willing to uh, divest ourselves of what we have. That is, we have to be willing to give up what we got in order to get what we have, what he has. Because what we do is we value what he has more than what we have. Ah, Lord, I'm first. I wish you would help me, Lord. I, I, I just wish you would help me. So if he decides to tell us that except a man be born again. Jesus. Uh, then, then if that's what he said I was to do, yes, then if I want to get what he died that he tell him, yes. then I have to be willing to make that 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 sacrifice yes. to conform Jesus. to what he is telling me that I must do. Yes. If he says something to me, that if this any man come after me, he has to deny himself. Yes. Yes. Take up his cross. Yes. Follow me. If that's what he says, 
if I want what he has. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Then I have to be willing to comply with what yeah. he tells me to do. I'm talking today from a subject that says pressing toward the mark. Uh, what is this mark? What is this? What is this mark? Well, of course, this mark kind of takes on a life of itself. The mark really takes on the life and begins to represent really something else. Yeah. Uh, pressing toward the mark. What is that mark? It's something that we desire, right? It's something we, right. we hope for. Right. Uh, what is that mark? That mark is something I want from God. Uh, yeah. I, I believe it's available to me, yes. but I have to keep pressing if I'm going to receive it. This is what Paul said, and I'm going to be really quickly here because I don't want to keep us too long. But it says, he says in, in Philippians chapter number 3 and verse 13, he says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. apprehended. What he said there, what that simply means, he's saying, I haven't I have gotten to my goal yet. I don't have what I'm, what, what I'm and what I'm really looking for, everything that I'm reaching for yes. and, and believing that God is going to give me, I haven't received it yet. I, uh, I have apprehended, but I just can't give up. Uh, if I'm going to get it, I just can't give up. Uh, Lord, I have to keep on pressing toward that mark, Press. pressing toward the thing that God has said. He says, brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but he says, but this one thing I do, so since I know I hadn't got to that place, wow. I hadn't got what God has for me. I have not gotten to that place for everything that God has for me. Yes. Then there's one thing that I do. Yes. Uh, it sounds like the same thing that David or the psalmist wrote in Psalms 27. He spoke, he said, one thing have I desired of the Lord. Yes. And that one thing is what I'm going to continue to seek yes. after. Yes. What is it that I may dwell in this house? I want to get to a place. I believe Jesus. God has something for me. I believe God Jesus. is going to help me with this Hallelujah. thing. Yeah. He says, but this one thing I do. Hmm. He says, I forget those things which are behind me. Ah, yes. Lord, have mercy. I, I forget those things that are behind me. Yes. It means I got to move on from from, from some things that may have been in my past. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, even if they certainly if they were bad things, I got to forget those things that were in my past. I yeah. can't live yeah. Yeah. on the basis of some things that have happened in my past. I can't they, but but at the same time, even if there were some good things that were in my past, I can't hold on to that as if that's some type of substitute for what I'm trying to receive of God. Let me try to get that clean. Let me try to clean that up. Let me try to clear that up. Paul, writing here in the book of Ephesians, and he began, if you read earlier in this chapter, he began telling his testimony about some of the things that God had done for him and, 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 and the places that, the things that God had worked out through his life and the things that he had accomplished. Lord, and I, but he says, you know what? I'm willing to forget all of those things because those things don't match with what God has for me. They are no, they don't even compare in glory to what God has for me. That's what the mark represents. The mark represents the glory. That's but, what but what did I tell you about glory? You can't get glory until you're willing to make the necessary sacrifice. Ah, oh, Lord, and He said, "I'm pressing." Or that mark. Well, that mark really truly represents the glory. Ah, oh, Lord, I'm, work, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing toward those things. But in order to press toward those things, I got to forget some things. I, got, I can't be relying upon what I did yesterday for the Lord. I, I can't rely upon how I lived so great uh, 20 years ago. And God is, is, is looking for me to do some things right now. He want me to keep holding on to my hope. Keep holding on to my faith. Right. Even at this, keep on pressing yeah. for the mark. Uh, the, the guy wrote a song about moving on. He said this. He says, I'm closing chapters. I'm turning pages. We got to move on, saints. We have to move on. 
Because we know what's in our rear view doesn't compare to what God has for us. That's right. God has some things for us. But if we are going to get those things, right. it's going to require that we keep pressing toward the mark. So he says, I, I, I count myself as not have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Mm. I reach forth unto those things which are before me. Yeah. I press. That's what I he said. Ah, Lord, have mercy. I press toward the mark. I press toward the glory. I press toward it because I know God has something for me. I press toward uh, the mark for the prize. Ah, uh, Lord, of the high calling of God, uh, which is in Christ Jesus. I press. Oh, uh, Lord, have mercy. I, I don't give up, but I keep on pressing. Keep on pressing. Sometimes through the storm, I keep pressing. Sometimes through the rain, I have to keep pressing. That's right. Uh, sometimes when I'm up, that's right. I have to keep pressing. Hallelujah. Even when I'm down, I have to keep pressing. Oh, uh, Lord, I have to keep on pressing my way. Oh, uh, Lord, sometimes things in life is difficult. That's right. Sometimes things in life is hard. Oh, Lord, if you live long enough, you've experienced some things, some disappointments that's in life. Right. Right. Ah, Lord, have mercy, but I'm telling you, regardless of all of those things, Paul said, I just forget about those things uh, that are in my past because I got to keep pressing. I got to keep pressing on toward God. I can't rely upon what I did for it, or I can't rely upon my resume, but I have to keep pressing my way yes, yes. Uh, toward God. Keep pressing on my brothers and sisters, and I hope we will today. Just a simple message that tells us to keep pressing. Yes. Right. We were talking about this oh, yesterday, the other day, but now we're talking about keep pressing. Keep pressing. You got to keep holding on. Yes. We can't give up. We just can't stop. Right. Uh, if we're running a race, he really, Paul really compares this conversation to a person that's running in a race. Right. Right. Uh, some of us may have been aware of running in a race, or we if we had never done it, at least we've seen someone do it. Unless that person, the person that really wins the race, of really accomplishes what they set out to do when they started, is the one that continues on till they get to the mark that says you're finished. Yeah. You've done, you have, you have achieved right. the, the mark, the place where God wanted you to be. So we have to keep running in this race. Yeah. We have to keep running. Listen to this. If I stop running in the middle of the race, or even if I stop running at the end, toward the end of the race, yes, Jesus. Uh, the only thing that matters, my brothers and sisters, is whether or not I completed the race. Right. Yes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Why now do I want to let, to allow all of my good work that I've done? Uh, Lord have mercy. I've been fasting and I've been praying. Uh, why do I would want, to, want to allow all of that good work that I've been doing to be for all for nothing? Uh, Lord have mercy. Because I failed to press on to get through the race. See, I got to understand the importance of getting through this thing. I got to understand the importance of holding on. It is, it is, it is detriment to my soul. If I don't hold on, oh Lord, I have to hold on. I have to keep running. Yes, yes. I have to keep running. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I got to understand the reason I got to keep fighting. Yes. I got to keep fighting. Ah, yes. uh, baby, you're going by the front fight with me. Don't by the support me. Don't by the front help me. Oh Lord, I'm hurting. I got to keep fighting. Come yes. on, step. I got to keep on fighting because I got to save myself. Uh, I got to do it for me. Even if my husband don't go, I got to go for myself. If my wife decides she's done, she can't support this, I got to go for myself. If my children don't want to go. God have mercy. God, I thank God for giving me a chance to get in the race. So now I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on pushing. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Because I believe in some kind of way. Yeah. Some kind of how God is going to help me through it. Yes, and I'm telling will. you. Yes, he will. I'm telling you that if you keep with, if you get the right mindset, that was one of the things about hope last week. Yes. That you have the right kind of right hope puts us in the right mindset. That's that right. I believe there's a way for me to get there. Lord have mercy. We have to keep with the right mindset. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that I'm gonna keep pressing. I'm not, I'm not gonna quit. But I'm gonna hold on to what God has, has given me. I believe that God is gonna help me to get to the place where he desires for me. Lord have mercy, but he but the but Paul writes and he says, I press towards the mark. Hadn't got there yet. I hadn't got there yet, but I gotta keep on pressing. And I'm telling us, keep holding on. You keep pressing your way until you get everything that God desires for you. And until you get into the place, until you cross that mark yes, uh, yes. that God has for us. Yes. Uh, Lord have mercy. This, this really this mark is really an important piece here. Uh, because really truly Paul is writing here. I don't want to get too deep in this, but Paul is writing here. Well, Paul is already he's already saved. But that's the point that's being made really true. I'm already saved. God has saved me. But but still I have got to the to the finish of my course. I have wow. Everything has not resolved yet. I still have work to do for God. Amen. Ah, Lord, have, we still have work to do. We still got work to do. God is still expecting something of us uh, because of what he has given to us. So I'm telling you to keep working, my brothers and sisters, regardless of whatever else is going on. Oh, Lord, regardless of whatever else is happening in our life, you hold Jesus. on to God. That's right. Now, Lord, you hold on to God. To Don't you quit. Hallelujah. Don't you just give up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You declare your heart. You declare your spirit. Yes. That yes. some kind of way I'm going to be with God. Yes. Talk me. Yes. I'm going to get in the place that God desires yes. for me. I'm going to keep pressing until I get there. And I'm not going to give up. Yes. Stand with me right now. Stand with me right Thank now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, that's your name. Oh, God. I bless your name, brother, and I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, uh, forgetting those things which are behind. Uh, Lord, have mercy. There have been some wonderful things. There have been some wonderful things that have happened in my life. And I thank God for the things that have happened in my life to bring me to this place that's in my life. But those things don't, I can't rely upon those things. Now, Lord, have mercy. And just to just rely upon the work that I've done in the past, i got to keep on working for God. He says, Paul says, I, I, I just can't rely upon those things. In fact, forgetting those things, i got to keep pressing. I'm telling you to keep pressing. Regardless of who want to go to heaven or who don't want to go, I want you to keep pressing. You make up in your mind. I'm going to keep pressing. I may not have everything I want in life. I may not have a job I want. I may not have a car I want. I may not have a house I want. I may not have a husband I want. Or the wife. But I'm going to keep pressing. I'm not going to allow these things that I can see, smell, hear, taste, and feel to stop me. Lord, have mercy from getting what God has for me. I'm telling you that God has something wonderful for us. If we can make it to the mark, if we can keep on pressing, if we can hold on. Ah, Lord, have mercy. If we can hold on, say, Sharp. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we can hold on. God is able to do just what He said. He did he do? He's going to fulfill every promise. Leave it right there to you. Don't give up on God. And he won't give up on you. 